In this episode, we will be discussing Alabama landlord-tenant laws. The following is a summary of landlord-tenant laws in the state of Alabama as they apply to residential rental property. Topics include disclosures, withholding rent, right to enter, security deposits, eviction and termination, and increasing rent. Required Disclosures The landlord must disclose to the tenant in writing at or before the commencement of the tenancy the name and address of the person authorized to manage the premises. In addition, the owner of the premises or a person authorized to act on behalf of the owner must also be disclosed for the purpose of service of process and for receiving notices and demands. Security Deposit Limit A landlord may charge a tenant the equivalent of one month's rent for the security deposit. This does not include special deposits like ones for pets, which the law states can be separate but must be a reasonable amount. Deadline for returning a security deposit A landlord must return a security deposit along with an itemized statement of deductions within 60 days after tenancy has ended and the tenant has moved out. Increasing rent. Landlords must give at least 30 days notice to raise rent in Alabama unless your lease states differently. Withholding rent. A tenant may not withhold rent or repair and deduct if a landlord fails to take care of repairs, even when the air conditioning breaks down. Terminating tenancy and eviction. A tenant has a right to pay rent or move within seven days after the due date before a landlord can file an eviction. However, landlords can refuse rent when a tenant commits illegal behavior such as drugs, violence, etc. In such instances, an unconditional quit notice is used to give seven days to move out before an eviction is filed. For other lease violations, a 14-day notice must be given to allow the tenant to correct the violations first. Right to enter. A landlord must provide the tenant a two-day notice of entry before being permitted inside the unit. For more information, additional laws and articles can be found at AmericanLandlord.com.